the Mercedes AMG W12 E Performance, the 2021 Formula One Constructors Championship winning car. It's the final hurrah of the wide body monsters of 2017 to 2021 and currently the most likely thing on iRacing to make a sim racer say, oh, excuse me, while adjusting their trousers. But how do you get to race this track chomping, battery deploying, Red Bull denying, Bono, my tires have gone, weapon of a car? You follow the road to glory. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Limit of Adhesion, Gareth here with your handy guide on what to buy and what to drive in order to progress to the W12 on iRacing. Obviously the cars you eventually select will be entirely up to you, but while we wait for a new F4, F3, F2 car progression, this is what I'd pick. So we start in the Rookies where you'll be doing battle with the Mazda MX-5 and the Formula V. My advice here is to race both of them, get used to racing cleanly and really master the basics of iRacing. The important thing in every category and license class is not to rush it. You're going to be learning so much at each stage. The V especially requires a light touch to not spin and maintain momentum. Good skills for later on. We've already made a video looking at the three D license open wheel options, the Skip Barber, USF 2000 and the Formula Renault 2.0. Our pick for the road to glory here is the Formula Renault 2.0. It's going to teach you a lot about the basics of driving a low weight, high power single seater and introduce you to setups as well. It's at this point you will also need to consider purchasing tracks as well, so let's take some time to explore that. Content buying is a basic fact of going racing on iRacing. It can be a little expensive at times, so here are some quick tips. Number one, always buy in multiples of three. iRacing gives you a 10% discount if you buy three pieces of content at once and 15% if you buy six pieces at a time. So do make sure you take advantage of this. Two tracks in a car, three tracks, three cars, or five tracks in a car, whatever you do, make sure to get the discount. Number two, obviously choose tracks that you want to race on, but you should also consider how often the track is visited by the official series you will be racing on. It is very tempting to buy tracks and then never use them, so try to resist that urge. Number three, iRacingStats.com is a great partner website to help in this regard. You can also check the calendars of the current season for the cars you are planning to move up to beyond the car you are racing right now. You can look on the iRacing website to look at these calendars. Number four, if your goal is the F1 Grand Prix series that has been announced, then your shopping list is pretty much already there for you. Congratulations, you've made it out of D license and you're confident enough to take the next step in your racing career. Again, you have a choice of three open wheelers, the Lotus 49, the PM18 Road to IndyCar and the Dallara F3. The Lotus is a gorgeous car and a challenging and rewarding drive, but the skills required to drive the Formula 1 car of 60 years ago no longer apply to the modern car, and that's why it's not our pick for the C-license in the Road to Glory. The PM18 is the same chassis as the USF2000 but with a more powerful engine. It's a great car that races over a mix of ovals and road courses. I'd definitely consider racing this if you were planning to race two cars at C-license level. For us though, it is hard to look past the F3 as the next step in your career. There's fixed and open setup races, lots of competition and the car is a very natural progression from the FR 2.0. Yes, race starts can be somewhat fraught with danger, but learning how to mitigate that danger is part of your driver training. When you arrive in B-Class you will again have the familiar choice of three cars, the Lotus 79, Dallara IR01 and the Formula Renault 3.5.
If it wasn't for the participation numbers courtesy of iRacingStats.com again, this would be the hardest choice of them all. All three of these cars will teach you something useful before stepping into the W12. The Dallara IR01 is a collaboration between iRacing and Dallara on the design of a V12 powered future open wheel concept car. Its lap times are similar to the F1, although it feels a lot more scary to hang on to. The Lotus 79 has a lot of understeer as you'd expect from a car at the beginning of the aerodynamics era, but it does teach precision and smooth throttle application from slower corners. It sounds incredible and looks great too. The Formula Renault 3.5 has DRS 8 deployments per race and it looks very similar to a mid-2000s Formula 1 car. It's a couple of seconds faster than the Lotus 79 per lap with a bit more downforce, especially on the front wing. Realistically then, if you want to race more than once or twice per week, the FR 3.5 is the car to go for. Unless you feel really decadent and choose to race all three, which is definitely an option. Congratulations and you've made it to Formula 1. I hope this roadmap exploration of the different options has been useful. If it has, please do consider liking the video and subscribing to the Limit of Adhesion YouTube channel. Our other social media channels are on screen now. Good luck with your racing career and we'll see you next time.